Welcome to Tabletop Tactics. Coming up in today's battle... Hear him, don't get it. <laughs> Five True. years we've waited! Oh, things getting spicy in this house! Pants in alive! the house! Pants alive! <laughs> Team YouTube, it's time for the Emperor's children to descend, along with the all new Iron Warriors too, here in this second Chaos Space Marine battle report. We've had a bit of a Chaos Space Marine week it's here. Chaos week, baby! At TT Studios, haven't we? But before we get into this, again, a massive shout out to Siege Studios and to yourself for arranging all of this. Uh, the Empress Children Army, as you may or may not know, was given to me as an incredible gift, replicating my original army, which I very stupidly sold many years ago. If you haven't gone and checked out that uh, mystery army unboxing video with James, the director of Siege Studios, uh, here on YouTube, you go check it out and you'll find out the history of this army. For now, however, it's time for perfection. Mm. It's time for the true way. Mm. The true, perfect tactics on the battlefield to destroy your pathetic siege masters. Yes? And speaking of perfection, all of our on-demand members, which you can be if you're not already, speaking of Chaos Week, have access right now to everything we release for Chaos Week. So we have one, two, three, four, five painting tutorials done by our master painter Fletcher, um, covering the Word Bearers, the Black Legion, the Alpha Legion, the Iron Warriors, and the Night Lords. So if you're thinking about getting yourself a new Chaos Army, you can learn how to paint them on there. There's another battle report, a vicious battle between the Iron Warriors and their arch nemesis, the Imperial Fists. So if you want access to the entirety of Chaos Week in all of its splendor, head over to the website now, download our app, and you can access everything and achieve true ascension to demonhood. Yes. Like me. Iron within, iron without. The Iron Warriors are back, baby! And I am very excited to be running them for you today. A battalion is what I'm taking, and it's being headed up by my Lord Discordant. Ah, yes. Um, I've given him the Hatred Incarnate Warlord trait to make him a bit more potent in combat. Um, and I have given him a demon weapon, which is Golak the Decayed, which is a Nurgle weapon, uh, which means that his Impaler Chain Glaive has now been improved. So uh, when I hit, I automatically wound, which is very, very nice indeed. Uh, we then have, and he has Mark of Nurgle as well to give him the mini transhuman. Uh, moving on from there, we then have a Master of Possession. He has the Mark of Zinch, and we then have a Warpsmith. I've given him his, uh, the axe, the Warpsmith's axe, um, and that's it. He comes as he is, and he will be healing up some of my demon engines. We then move on to my troops and the first of my troops choices is a big block of 10 legionnaires. Um, I've given this lot the mark of Nurgle to make them a bit more buffed up and I've also gifted one of them a reaper chain cannon because they are pretty great and they can do some damage to some uh, some infantry. We then have two more troops, uh, two more units of legionnaires, two units of five. These also have reaper chain cannons, but no marks for them. And then we finally have a unit of cultists, just ten, because I couldn't leave Flamehead on the shelf today. I would have felt bad about the whole thing. Elites then. The elites I have today are uh, firstly a unit of terminators, so a nice big brick of ten terminators. Um, I've given them the mark of Nurgle as well to make them more robust. Um, and I have spent a command point to gift the champion Spite Spitter! It's a cool way of using Spite Spitter, actually. You're not relying on it being on a character that can maybe be um, uh, dealt with a bit easier than 10 Terminators. So um, hopefully we'll get some nice shots off with Mr. Spite Spitter. I've then got two Hellbrutes. I'm taking multi melters on both of these, and the Hellbrute fists come as they are. And then heavy support, we have two Forge Fiends. We have three Ectoplasma Cannons, including Plasma Face. And then to round everything off, we have a lovely unit of obliterators to open up with their flesh metal guns. That's the list! It's 2,000 points directly. Servo, harness, booping on the nose. Let's get into these Empress children and see if the list is filled with perfection.
Perfection, perfection. My perfection is faultless. With the Empress children today, it's a 1999 point battalion detachment coming at you, headed by the faultless one himself. It is Lucius the Eternal. He's got the Warlord trait Faultless Duelist now, which makes him even better in combat. So hopefully we'll be showing you that in this game. He's got his Doom Siren. He's got his Lash, which is really nasty now. Uh, the Lash of Torment, which can actually make people fight last, which is brutal if they're within three inches of him. So really, really powerful ability. And of course, he's a Lord, so he's giving a reroll once to hit Aura as well. We then go over to the second HQ, and we have a Master of Possession. These guys have gotten better, in my opinion. Some great powers. Uh, plus, of course, I get the delightful Agony's power, which is the Slanish only one there. We move over to troops, and I have so many noise marines. I cannot wait to show you guys what they do here on YouTube. So we've got three units of nine, so big units. They're expensive, but they've all got sonic blasters and one blast master. Plus, I've put, in a, put a doom siren on the champion, and I've got an icon of Slanesh on there as well, which actually gives them plus one to hit in combat, which is really good. Um, so they'll, they'll be doing some really, really nasty firepower, which you'll see, because they've actually got uh, plus one damage in half range as well with Sonic Weapons now and the new Chaos Space Marine Codex. So they're actually really nasty, but they are expensive. So, you know, the good comes with the bad, right? We move over to the Elites and I have two Hellbrutes. Now, these Hellbrutes are the old Sonic Dreadnoughts from Forge World. Sadly, they are out of print, but again, thanks to Siege Studios, they managed to hunt some down for me. And I've even got the double Sonic Blaster. So today, because I can't actually upgrade it with any official Sonic weapons, I'm gonna count that as a multi-melter. It seems to be the closest match to like a double Blast Master that you can find anyway. So I'm quite happy with that proxy. Uh, I haven't paid for a Combi Bolter or anything like that, but as per the Empress Children Legion rules, I do have to upgrade them with Mark of Slanesh where possible, so of course I have done so here. We then move over to Fast Attack, and we have another new unit for your viewing pleasure here on YouTube. It's Warp Talons. So I've got a big unit of nine Warp Talons. These guys have got a crazy amount of attacks now, and they shred in combat quite literally. So hopefully I'm going to get to show you guys what they can do with a really cheeky Empress Children stratagem as well when they arrive from Deep Strike. Let's see how that goes. We then move over to Heavy Support, and some more relics from previous editions past. We have two Predator and Annihilators with all new Soul Shatter LAS cannons. So these have had a big upgrade in the Chaos Space Marine Codex and are now really worth looking at. Plus we've got Sponson and Heavy Bolters, you guys know what those do. Uh, and I've actually got a couple of Havoc launchers on them as well. One, it looks cool, and two, I had the spare points. We finally come over to Dedicated Transports where I have two Rhinos. These guys have Combi Bolters inbuilt, plus I've also given them Havoc launchers again because of spare points. That's it, 1999 points of flawless perfection coming at you. Let's get to the battlefield and to the killing. Today's mission is Take and Hold, a strike force mission from the Tempest of War mission pack. Players must randomly generate a deployment zone and mission ruled using the Tempest of War card pack. Players then alternate placing five objective markers onto the battlefield, with one objective each placed in their deployment zone and the remaining objectives placed in no man's land. The primary objective is Take and Hold, a progressive mission where players score five victory points for each of the following conditions they achieve at the end of each of their command phases. Holding one or more objectives, holding two or more objectives, and holding more objectives than their opponent. These are cumulative and cannot be scored in the first battle round. At the start of each player's command phase, they must generate up to three secondary mission cards. At the end of their turn, they may discard any of their active secondary mission cards if they wish to. Chaos reigns. Chaos does reign. Everywhere. And it's multi-ball, baby. Yeah, cool, huh? Got double rules. Double rules, yeah, that's right. The Maelstrom of Battle has given us two mission special rules today. Supply lines and uh, scrambler fields. Yeah, so uh, we can't deep strike. The only part of that which will affect this is we can't deep strike a unit within three inches of an objective in no man's land or in the opponent's territory. No problem. Speaking of which, I have warp talons. A unit of warp talons, nine of them in reserve, sir. Nine, is it? You got anything in reserve? My obliterators. 
Ouch. I've done them on the, I've deployed them on the board twice in the last two games. So I'm going to give this method a whirl sure. and see what happens. Because it turns out they're quite a big threat, the Elder Blitz. They are nasty, nasty, nasty. Yes. Uh, I own some myself. I haven't used them yet with the Urals, but uh, I'm going to show you the Predators instead. Looking forward to this, Mr. Beard. Woo! Just for these uh, wonderful folks at home, I do have Lucius and a squad of Noise Marines in this Rhino. Yes. And I have the Master of Possession and a squad of Noise Marines in that Rhino. Just so you know what's what. Very good. I might even put the models on top in a moment moments. Uh, terrain wise, LOS blocking. Beautiful new ash waste terrain painted by Fletcher. Well done Fletcher. Uh, yeah well done and LOS blocking. We're also treating them as ruins. If you're underneath them you are still in LOS blocking terrain. If you go up on them, in them, then you're in a ruin as normal just so that you guys know what's what. Yes. And these of course are dense. Yes. Uh, I ignore all modifiers anyway. So, because I've got flawless perfection. And I, uh, I ignore cover. Well, there you go. So we may as well not even have these on the board. I hope it looks nice. So. <laughs> <laughs> right, should we roll for first turn? Let's do it! Okay. Why don't you go first? Thank you. Please. A gentleman and a scholar. Yes. I open Why did you have to with six? my favourite number. I was so polite. The perfect number. The Pay number up. of Slanesh. Ah, uh, well, there we go. Some things never change. <laughs> Some things never change. It's my command phase, Mr. Beard. It sure is. Uh, we are playing the new Nephilim due to rules uh, in the Tempest mission. So basically what that means is we're starting with six CP. Indeed. Okay. Uh, except I've spent a CP on a Warlord trait and I've spent a CP on a Relic. That's what I mean. I start on four mm. and now I get another one. Look at you guys. Huzzah. Look okay. So I start with five CP because you do gain one every battle round now. Uh, or sorry, every player turn, which is quite nice. Um, card wise, I've drawn Assassination. Probably can't get that this turn, but that's cool. No retreat, no surrender. That will be ongoing. And extend battle lines. I could get that if I go and take that cheeky objective just on the edge of no man's land there. Um, so cool, let's get into it. Let us begin with a rhino holding Lucius the Eternal. We're now within three of that objective. Andy. The Predator. We'll scoot round here ready to deliver some flawless perfection. This predator <laughs> will fill the void with death. Right, one of the hell brutes is going to move out here. And it's just about there, like so. This hell brute will just move up this way, just filling the gap, staying behind the LOS. The master of possession will disembark alone here. And then the rhino will move out to here behind this large rock. There's only one thing that needs to be done at the end of the movement phase. Yes. By the way, I do have the relic, I didn't say it in my list, Fatal Sonancy, oh. which is on the Master of Possession. Uh, it's really cool, it's within 12 inches. At the end of the movement phase, I pick a unit and roll 66 for every four plus, you take a mortal wound. It's nice, that it's is. It's only a 12 inch move range. Yeah, it is very nice. <laughs> like a super doom siren kind of cool thing. Right, uh, I'm just going to cast one power of delightful agonies. Okay. And uh, because the Hellbrutes got Mark of Slanesh, which I've paid for, you can't take Mark of Slanesh on the vehicles, but the Hellbrutes can, uh, I can cast it on him because it's a Slanesh unit. Very nice. Which is quite cool. Uh, I don't think... That goes... Oh, I needed a six. Oh, <laughs> that's not very delightful, is um, it? It would be very boring to use a CP on this. However, and you don't got many anymore. However, I don't think I'm using a CP on anything else this turn. Well, maybe. I've, kept, be I've been very cagey. Mm -hmm. And getting delightful agonies off would be really useful. So I am going to spend that CP. Okay. Because the Hellbrute could be in serious trouble. <laughs> Same again. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> okay, well, that's my psychic phase. Going to open with some light pitter patter fire. Oh. The forward Hellbrute, the one that moved out just into the open, is going to fire at your Terminators. That's all he's in line of sight, or range of, rather. Okay. Multi-melter shots. I it's a pacifier with a multi-melter, is it? There. <laughs> Two hits. Now, you are in dents, but I ignore it, because we are perfect. Perfection! <laughs> uh, you're minus one to wound, because you've given them the... Um... Mark of Neugel. Right, yeah. so, uh, would mean I need a four. Uh, actually, no, I'd normally win your twos, three. So, yeah, that's one win, my friend. Very nice. Um, and that is on strength that is equal or double to your unit's toughness, for anyone that was wondering. Um, so, a five up invulnerable save. Yes! You made it? Well done. Okay, that's the Hellbrute done. Uh, he doesn't have any other weapons. Let's pick something else. 
Okay, just a little bit more pitter patter here. The Rhino's Havoc launcher will fire across the battlefield into your Forge Fiend. Very well. D6 shots. It's oh! five shots. Now we are in wanton destruction, so sixes would explode here because it is a heavy weapon. It certainly will. Uh, not that I get any, so that's that story. Mm. Uh, then we're going to try and wound you on fives. Yes. I do get two wounds. A Howard. cheeky couple Story. of wounds. There's is no there AP or anything? No. no. Ha! Okay, you do a plink wound. a wound off though. Fine. Well done. Havoc you. launcher. There we go. Weapon of the match. Yeah. <laughs> I think they're rubbish. <laughs> Now we're going to have some fun being the big guns. Okay, the rear predator is going to fire the twin soul shatter las cannons soul into shatter, your hell you say? Yes, I do say. Ooh. And the two heavy bolters and havoc launcher uh, have line of sight to this ectoplasma cannon, okay. and therefore your forge fiend. And therefore, I'm going to target the forge fiend. Let's start with that, shall the we? Best thing about the soul shatter cannon. Tell me. Imperium don't get it. <laughs> Five True. years we've waited. True, I'll ignore I'm a Flesh Terror player. True. <laughs> right, so D6 Havoc launcher shots. Two shots oh. into the Forge Fiend. Yes, the Fiend of the Forge. Now it's a heavy weapon, so that's a big batter exploding hit, that's which nice. makes up for the whiff that I just had. The whiff you've Okay, been to wound you, no wounds because we're in okay. a straight fight. Never mind. Now the heavy bolters. I do mind actually. Yeah. Now the heavy bolters. Six yes. shots, no sixes. That's very upsetting. Damn it! I want to show you wanton destruction. Well, I can also show it off. Yeah, that's true. We can. Oh, 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 oh! That's three wounds. Three wounds. That is three wounds. Uh, three uh, AP save. minus nothing because of the. Oh, of course. Fair enough. Of okay. course. So two go through. Uh, I and mean, you are only damaged two, so it's four wounds, mm. but uh, you are otherwise healthy. Yes. Now for the soul shatter laser cannon. Please don't shatter my health. Laser groups. cannons. Only one hit. Okay. Okay. It average, is what it is. On the average. What it is what it expect? is. It is a wound. What? Um, Demon save. Two minus two. No. You make it. Uh, you fail it rather. It's D6 plus two damage. <sighs> Six. Come on. Ooh. Oh. Things are getting spicy in this house. Sneaky one. That's eight wounds on that hell brute. Well, it's Except it's seven because you reduced. How damage. many wounds does the hell brute have now? I think they are. N they're nine. I'm going to double check because I don't that know. Could be wrong. So you just have the eight wounds, you know. So you've got the down to one wound. Good thing I've got that minus one damage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, soul shatter nearly did shatter the soul. Yes. Uh, I'm actually going to move to the Havoc launcher. The combi bolt is out of range. I'm going to fire through the dents. Again, I ignore it. I'm Emperor's Children into this Hell Brutes because I'm going to try and prove you right that the Havoc launchers will, in fact, be the weapon of the match. Yeah, we're going to break the codex D6 right now. These six shots. It's just the three. Okay. Okay, maybe I can get triple six to show off that wanton destruction. No, 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 let's not be silly. Okay, now to <laughs> We got a wound! Oh, now, I don't want to on you, but it is cheeky a single die situation! Ah! Oh, the Hellbrute would be dead I can't re-roll it. No CP re-roll Are you on the hashtag no CP re-roll? Yeah. I've already used I've one. I've already got so. four command points at my well, disposal. Well, it's true as well. I mean, I felt... I just wanted to show the delightful agonies. I felt like... I... Anyway, it's always the way. It's Never fine. use the CP re-roll. Um, they don't blow up, do they? Uh, I think they might actually. We'll just roll anyway and we'll see. You're fine. Cool. Okay, well, I killed a Hellbrute, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. Nice! I've just got one Predator left. You'd be happy to hear. Okay. It does have a Deadly Havoc launcher. Listen, Don't want to alarm you. It's all chaos. <laughs> Wherever chaos reigns, I'm happy. Yeah, you win. It's true. I've already won. Uh, I'm an imposter here in this scenario. <laughs> right, so the Predator um, will actually now fire everything in the Forge Fiend. Very good. Okay. I'm going to use my handy dandy Iron Warrior stratagem called Unholy Vigor. Tell me all about it. Um, I can allocate this it. to a demon engine or a machine spirit unit, uh, and it's minus one to the wound. That's amazing. And I can use that in any phase, which is fun. Now, here, yeah, here's, here's something we just discussed. Put that yeah. on one of those new land raiders. <sighs> Multi melters are winning them on sixes. Yeah, because they're toughest nine base now. They've also got two Soul Shatter Laz cannons. Yeah. Which is, listen, I like that land raider. Four Soul Shatter Laz cannons. Yes, but two twin linked ones. Yes, yes. you're absolutely right. So, right. I'm gonna. I'm shooting you anyway. I have to. I have to Do get it. it. So let's open with the havoc launcher okay. for a laugh. It's just the one shot. Just the one. Time. Okay. <laughs> it's slowly degrading. Oh man. Time. Okay. So it misses. <laughs> the heavy bolters. See, if that was a tracer havoc launcher, we might be in business. True. Mm. Right now, wanton destruction. Oh, I nice. do get another hit. Very nice. Uh, and that one's a miss. Oh, excuse me. Um, so I did have five hits in total. And then to wound you would normally be five. But it's sixes. But now it's sixes, yeah. so no wounds. There we go. That would have been three wounds. Yeah, nice strap. Nice strap. That. Nice strap. Mm. The soul shatter laser cannon okay. is a double hit. Oh, baby. Now, normally <laughs> I'm doing you on threes. 
But now it's fours. Oh. Can we get a double wound? We can get a double oh, wound pants in alive. the house. Pants alive. <laughs> Demon save. I do pass one. He passes one. I do pass one. You pass. Yes. All we need to do is not roll a six. <laughs> Technically a five would or do five. it. five. <laughs> oh no. I am perfection. Oh! <gasps> <laughs> okay, so that's three wounds down on Very the good. Forge Fiend, but you'll be happy to know I've got nothing Five else wounds, to fire though. at him. Five wounds, of course, sorry. Um, yeah, nasty. Well done. Now, now, I could use a CP on this. I'm not going to because I literally want to show you other more fun things. So I'm going to save the CP. Mm. We'll worry about that another time. That's my turn, my friends. No charges, nothing like that. Uh, at the end of the turn, I still have Assassination in play. You know what? I think I'm actually going to discard that one. Fair enough. All right. Um, no retreat, no surrender still in play. I did get extend battle lines because I am holding one in no man's land and one in my own territory. See? So that's five points mm -hmm. for me. Thank you very much. That, no, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Greetings. Welcome to Turn 1 Iron Warriors. I've drawn my cards. Have um, you? I have no prisoners, no retreat, no surrender, and blood and guts. So, a bit of a mixed bag, but I'm going to hold on to them for the time being, I think. Um, my Warpsmith's going to put his plus one to hit with his um, insidious technologies into my beleaguered Forge Fiend over there. Fair. Um, and, and that's it. I'm okay. now going to do some movement. Okay, I like it. The Terminators! I'm advancing them because they're going to be out of any real effective range with their combi bolters uh, for the time being. So I'm just going to run forward and take this mid-board objective. My heavily damaged Forge Fiend is going to bundle his way forward. He has regained a wound in the command phase, as is his right. But he's hopefully going to get some shots in before he is completely destroyed. My Lord Discordant scuttles forward. I have advanced him. Luckily, his Bale Flamer is still Assault over to here. He does have nine wounds now, so he is protected by the Terminators, but maybe he'll be in effective range with his Belching Flames of Fury. The Warpsmith has advanced. I should mention, he actually gave the plus one to hit to this Forge Fiend here before he tootled off, because um, as I forgot in the game the other day, my um, Marsh Possession has the Demon Smith Warlord trait, so he would have given his plus one to this Forge Fiend. Um, so now they both have plus one to hit, the end. This Forge Fiend now is gonna move its way around here, chasing after the Dark Master. Uh, this squad here also just gonna move forward a little bit. Um, just to make their way up the board, and the Master Possession will follow suit. This Hellbrute, a bit sad about his mate dying, seeks bloody revenge. These Legionnaires just gonna have a little bit of a shuffle, a little bit of a, a spread out. So I wanna move forwards a bit, but I am uh, acutely aware there are some Warp Talons on the way as well. So I'm um, just gonna have a bit of movement forward to move up the board, but also protect my back lanes. And similar strategy with the Cultists, just uh, fan them out a little bit protect my back lanes. Flame hit. And a bit more of the same on this flank over here. Just keeping myself safe. That's my movement done. That's uh, nice. My Warpsmith's gonna try and heal up that Forge Fiend uh, over there. The Warpsmith? Just oh. the one wound. Well, it's better than no wounds. It is better than it's no better wounds. It's better than not casting your Delightful Agonies. That is true. I believe, I believe he's now not in his bottom profile, so that's that's something. Cool. Um, and now it's time for my Psychic Phase. Nice. Be a quick one. Um, I'm going to cast Cursed Earth on this Forge Fiend here. Cursed Earth, I think it's an aura anyway. Six inch aura, so you would get both, if I'm not mistaken. Good lord. So that's why it's so good. Good lord. So you win. So well, you'll, you'll cast Cursed Earth on both Forge Fiends, in fact. <laughs> because of that, I will unsheathe my sacrificial dagger and stab a Chaos Legionnaire in the spleen. Ouch. Uh, they take so D3 plus... muscle wounds. So, you so kill one, one is dead. But you get plus fine. two to cast now, right? I do. Which is pretty cool. So that now goes off on a five. Okay. Uh, Kaya. Very good. So that goes off on They've a They've got four ear. plus invulnerable saves. They sure do. Isn't that nice? But I have lost a Chaos Marine to the warp, but um, his sacrifice will not be in vain. We'll remember his name in memoriam, etc, etc. The shooting phase will begin with my Forge Fiend, the Fiend of the Forge. Uh, the one in the middle that hasn't been battered Damaged. by soul shatter cannons. I understand. This one's soul is just about intact. Yeah. So he's got plus one to hit as well, so he's hitting on twos. He's on twos. It's nice. Yeah. Um, so he's going to fire all of his extra plasma cannons into your front hell brute over there. Okay. How many shots do I get? How many indeed? Three, four, five. Okay. Okay. 
It's a reasonable amount. It's something. I mean, it's reasonable, reasonable enough for me to dash a card across the room. <laughs> <laughs> Can I hit you? Uh, I do miss you once, but I do get three sixes. Once in destruction, bash round one. That's three additional hits. That's one time, prime time, baby. <laughs> uh, I'll be wounding you on three. Yeah, you strength out, yep. Okay, so okay. four wounds. Nice. Four wounds, and that is at minus three, but minus two. But minus you. two. Yeah. The armor of contempt. I mean contempt. Uh, I fail three, I uh, okay. cast one, because it would be five, so I'd be saving on. So that would um, be six damage, because yes, you reduce yours by one. Correct. Um, so we, he's hanging on in there. Now, if I cast Delightful Agonies, I would get to ignore those wounds on five. That would have been nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I want to show these folks at home something cool. Okay, go on then. So, uh, now you've just shot me with the Forge Fiend, and you've damaged me, I'm going to spend a CP on Fire Frenzy, putting me down to one. So Hellbrook stra uh, Stratagem, I can now shoot back at the nearest unit to me, or the unit that inflicted damage on me, assuming applying the normal line of sight targeting rules. So I'm going to fire at your Forge Fiend. Very nice. Uh, two shots. Fire away. Double hit. Ba -ba 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 -bam. Ba -ba 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 -bam, ba -bam. Uh, two wounds. Your toughness seven still. Yeah, two yep. wounds. So two wounds. Um, a cursed Earth save! Well, one goes through, one fair goes enough. Through. D6 damage, I'm not in Melter range. It is only the one damage, plus nothing. So... Marvelous. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time for the Forge... Fiend. No, the other one. The Lord Discordant. From the forge. Yes. Yes. Um, I'm going to bail flame your hell brutes, you see. Okay. Here we go. 2d3 shots. That's 3, 4, 5, plus 2 for let the galaxy burn. That's true. Because it's a flame weapon. Savage. That's 7. 7. 7. seven. seven. Isn't that nice? Yep. Fives and sixes to wound you. Can I wound you? Can I wound it's you? It's nice. Two wounds. For each of your wounds. Yeah, that's true, actually. Mm. Um, what's the minus? Great question. I think it's minus one or minus two. Which case that would be one save and one. Would. Are we going to find out together? What is it? We'll we'll do it live. Let's everyone. find out together. We'll do it live. We'll do it live. Yes, it's minus two reduced to minus one. Armor of contempt. So I save one. I fail one. It's normally damage two, but I've got damage reduction. That's a lot of stacking rules. I'm still alive on one wound. Nice. Last attempt to down this pesky forge, uh, uh, Hellbrick. Everything's a forge thing to me. <laughs> well, you are an Iron Warriors player, so. Yes. Yeah. Um, uh, Reaper Chain Cannon from my Legion Air Squad is just about in range into your Hellbrick. Okay. See if I can gun him down yep. with my mighty Chain Cannon. The Chain Cannon. No sixes. That's annoying. That's I a shame. I have moved, so it's only four hits. Five and sixes to wound. Just the one wound. Uno Wundo. Uno Wundo 6 for perfection. It's a 3, which oh, I believe will nice. be enough though because he of the armor. He's still alive! Him. Damn it! The Forge Fiend, the Fiend of the Forge. The I'm damaged gonna, one? The damaged one, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to split my fire a bit. Okay. I'm also going to use two stratagems. Um, so I'm going to use Demon Forge to improve his ballistic score by one. Okay. Um, because the Warpsmith, uh, sorry, the, um, um, the March of Possession with his... Um, Demon Whoop. plus one to hit. Demon Smith is plus one to hit, yes. Yep. Um, I'm also going to use Hatred Eternal, which is, a, which is um, no, I'm not. I'm going to use Tank Destroys, which is an Iron Warriors one, uh, where six is to hit automatically wound. Ouch. So you're now down to a one CP? Yes, but that will only apply to your Predator, because I select one vehicle. Speaking of which, I'm going to spend a CP, putting me down to three, which will now um, put smoke screen on that Predator, because they do have the smoke screen keywords. Yes. Uh, and that will be a minus one to hit me. So you'll go from twos to hit me to threes to hit me. Very well. Okay. Right. So um, I'll need to do these shots separately. So the shot into the Hellbrute, hell okay. I get That's three what shots. You want. Big three. Bye bye. How many hits? Oh. Four hits. Oh. Because it explodes, because we're in wanton destruction. Um, and now I'll be wounding you on threes. Of course. I mean, it's, 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 I'd, that's probably even worse than my psychic power debacle, so you know what? Yeah, okay! Yeah, it is. We're just going to move on. The other two right. Exoplasma Cannons. Three shots. Right. Very good. Do I hit you? Uh, I hit Miss you twice. Once. Um, twice, because of the minus one. But yeah, yeah but, but you get two six. hits. So two hits, one and one of them automatically wounds. Which is nice. Which is nice. So does the other one wound? 
Go, one wound. Do I get a save? And you save it. No, you should. Sure no, no, you don't save it. You're sorry. minus three, no. right? Normally, so minus, to three minus, to minus two. two yes. So do you take three damage. I do take three damage at least. That's something. Nice little something. tickle, you know. Someone gives you a little tickle. Last thing to do. Okay. My Hellbrute will uh, fire its multi melter into that same predator. Now, tank destroyers will apply here as well because you select a vehicle. Then any Iron Warriors units um, that hit get sixty to hit will. Okay. Yeah. Likewise, smoke screen also still applies. Very good. Key up. So. Ah, ouch. Well, that's that then. That's my <laughs> shooting phase. An entire Iron Warriors force has failed to kill one Hellbrute. So that's good. Uh, you got a little bit unlucky there. You Four did. ones and Four twos. Four ones and wound. twos. That Hellbrute should all oh, by right. Should be dead be twice dead. over, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, should Never be dead. mind. Um, so I didn't get any points at the end of my turn. Uh, no prisoners is ongoing. No treat, no surrender. I'll keep for the time being as well. I will discard blood and guts because I'm a little way away from getting to combat just yet. Um, so that is the end of my turn. Okay. Uh, I did pick up five for no retreat, no surrender because that's now been completed. Very end nice. Of your turn. Nice. The fates have spoken, the cards have been drawn. Grind them down, I've got to kill more than you. Storm yes. hostile objective, I've got to take an objective from you. Battlefield supremacy, I've got to hold three objectives and hold more than you. That may be possible, I've just picked up 10 points for my primary, holding two Very objectives. Nice. Plus I've got a command point bringing me up to four. That's all perfect. Uh, let's now try and kill you perfectly. Perfection. We'll begin the movement phase with the Sonic Dreadnought, like so. Noise Marines have just disembarked from the Rhino. Now they're going to come this way. We can show you some cool stuff. Noise Marines down below will now get up into the ruin. Rhino will shuffle like so, and the Hellbrutes will shuffle here. Master of Possession. Move over here. Actually gonna do a bit more of a move on this one, um, just because I need a little shuffle, and actually, what I'd rather it do is something like that. Little reverse bay. Just advance this rhino, got a three. Moves it 15 inches to just over here. And now the predators will uh, move so that they're going to be within three of said objective. And now the warp talons descend from the battle barge named Ecstasy. The Ecstasy of Killing. It's a psychic phase. Yes. Everything's moved into position. Uh, the Master of Possession, I don't need line of sight for this power, is going to do warp marked. I'm going to mark your Terminator, sir. What does it do? Uh, this will give me, uh, add one to my attack's wound roll. Oh. Which is, which is quite nice. Uh, only for demon kin and demon engine units, but uh, the warp talons are demon kin. So, you know, there's that. That goes off. Hey. Pleasant surprise. Isn't that nice? I'm then going to cast Delightful Agonies for the third time. That's the way I look at it. On the Noise Marines up in the ru 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 ruin. Okay. You seem to no, be hesitant. I'll, yeah, no, I'll do it on the unit down below. Okay. That's what I'll do. It, it goes, goes off. off. <laughs> but at what cost? I lose two mortal wounds. A little bit of cost. For my impetuousness. Okay, that's fine. So I lose two wounds. I've done my psychic phase. Both powers have gone off. We'll mark that up and we'll do some shooting. Okay, I'm gonna open with the big thing. Okay. I'm gonna spend two CP on excruciating frequencies Ooh. and put it on the unit which is within 12 inches of your Terminators. Oh now, because they're in half range with sonic weapons, they're already now damaged too. They get plus one damage. Um, and now, if I roll only sixes to wound, you'll take a mortal wound in addition. Ouch. Are you going to do anything in reaction? Yes. I'm going to use a special Iron Warriors ration called Devasavero. <laughs> what, is, what does that do? Uh, it means that my Basica Infanteria Galeros, which are my Terminators, yes. um, uh, have, uh, they reduce damage by one. Oh. And it costs me one Punto de Mandos, which, so is, which means I see my Punto's gone. Nil. Demandos, yes, uh, and also this was printed in Spanish for some reason. Yes, um, so it's a it's an opportunity for everyone to learn another language. But either That's our nice. our deck has one Spanish card, or maybe everyone's deck has one. I Spanish like the card. idea that all the decks and I hope everywhere. that the Spanish decks have um, all of one their English cards in card. English, but one in Spanish. 
Or oh, no, one English it. card. Just Chaos! To, just to <laughs> balance it out. Okay. Right, well, fine. Good. Uh, I've got eight Sonic Blasters and a Doom Siren, which are targeting the Terminators. The Blastmaster is actually going to go for your four with Forge Fiend. Okay. All right. Six is to hit now because we're in round two. Blast away, sir. Blast weapons. away. We'll uh, explode. One, oh, I thought the six is there. Uh, that is, oh my goodness. Three, four, five, six, seven. So I get seven additional hits. Is wow. What that means. However, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven misses, eight, nine, ten misses. So I actually rolled really badly if you think of it that way. Uh, but I'll put seven hits back in. So it kind of makes it better. Uh, right, lots of hits. Mm. Now, any sixes to wound here against, and this will be on both the units, including the four trees. Any sixes to hit, uh, to wound here will be mortal wounds. In addition, I get three mortal wounds. Wow! So I kill a Terminator. Very nice. Fair enough. But you're minus one to wound, which is pretty massive. Yes, yeah, my Nurgly so mark. You only actually get. Yeah, you've only got seven saves to make, including the mortal wounds that went through. Seven? So seven saves, and you get two up save because of Armor of Contempt. Okay. But I have killed a Terminator. That's pretty cool. killed a Terminator. Seven uh, saves, you make all of them. So I kill a Terminator, fair enough. The Doom Siren gets four hits. This will actually wound you on fours, because it's strength five, but you're minus one. Uh, wow, uh, plus another two mortal wounds. So this is on the same Terminator unit? On the same Terminator unit. Not the Forge Fiend? Not the Forge Fiend, because okay. it's the Doom Siren. Four wounds? So uh, three wounds. Three wounds. Three wounds, so three saves to make. <gasps> Oh, that will kill another Terminator because I wow. did two mortal wounds. So I killed two Terminators. Very hey, nice. I'll take that. Yes. That's better than I hoped for. Yes. Uh, now the Blastmaster, we will do the heavy variant uh, on your Forge Fiends. Okay. Heavy variant. He hits you twice. Mm. Toughness of your Forge Fiend? Seven. Cool. So one wound. One wound. One wound, my friend. Any minus? Uh, the minus is three. Minus three? Up. But down to minus two. Oh. Uh, Roll one anyway. Fair enough. It won't kill you. It is damage three because unless I'm in half range, which I don't think I am. Oh, maybe I am actually. I blast my. I am. So it would be damage four. That would destroy you. Oh, he's dead. It would destroy you. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Because it because he's damage three base. Damage and four. It's damage four because he's within twenty four inches. My goodness. Does he explode? He doesn't oh, explode. Close, but that there's the is dead. Ouch. Well, that noise marine. Uh, unit truly did let out a salvo of excruciating frequencies. Thanks, punch! And guess what? That's music to my ears. <laughs> the forward Hellbrute now. I still can't target the Lord Disco because you have Terminators nearby. Yes. Um, so I'm going to fire. He is just within 12 of the Forge, the Arch Forge thing, so I'm give it a go. Please Ma do. Multi Melter, one hit. Ma -ma Multi Melter, no wounds. Okay. Uh, although he's been damaged, so he re rolls once to wound. He does re roll. Because that's his once new rule. Yes. So he does get a wound. Does wound. There you go. Demon save! No, nope, okay. <laughs> okay. D6 plus two damage, because it's m m m m melter m m m m melter m m m m melter Four damage. Four damage. Okay. Okay, next Hellbrute, behind the other Hellbrutes, next to the hab attack block there. Yes. Uh, we'll fire two multi multi shots into your Terminators. Very nice. Ba-boom! Big ba-da-boom! One wound. One wound? One wound, my friend. You get Invulnerable your... save! Invulnerable. A lot of ones are running for saves. A lot of ones. <laughs> I kill a Terminator. Okay. That's how that works. I roll a three. Oh, does nice. your damage one work against for the whole reduction of damage on the Terminator unit work for the whole phase? Yeah. And in which case, uh, you one Terminator is on one wing. Oh, lovely. Yeah. I'm now going to use the Havoc Launcher. Weapon oh. of the match uh, on the right in the back. Yeah. <laughs> but I eat your Terminators. You are more than uh, your six plus model, so I've got a minimum of three shots. But how many shots do I get? Okay, let's make that two or three then, shall okay. we? Okay. It's blast. Have it uh, one hit. Yes. No wounds. Amazing. It was. It was worth. Started off well. They'll have it. They'll have it, launcher. The rear predator here will fire his twin soul shatter laser cannons at this hell brute. Okay. The heavy bolters and havoc launcher will fire at your forge feet. Very nice. Yeah. So let's do the heavy bolters. Yes, let's. Let's just do the heavy bolters, sir. That's for heavy bolter hits. I'm not getting exploding sixes anymore because it's a heavy weapon. Yes. Uh, we wound you once. Uno window? Yep, on that forge fiend. Ah! Okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's going well. Right. Uh, two damage. Uh, then we're going to do the Havoc Launcher. Weapon of the match. It is five shots. Oh. Can it get a wound on the old forge fiend? Only the two hits there, Mr. Beard. Mm. It's got a oh, wound there, Mr. Wound. Beard. It's cheeky got a wound, wound there. 
You Happy make it. Say. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> okay, right. Twin Soul Shatter Laser Cannon. This into the L brute, is it? Yes. Yeah. That's two hits. Laser Cannon. That's two wounds. Okay. Two hits, two wounds. Can I save? Two hits, two... No. Well, I need a sixes. It's unlikely. Well, with Armour of Content, actually, I only needed fives. Because oh. I am still only minus three. Well, I'll do two. Okay. Uh, this is 2d6 plus two damage because you're ignoring the fours down to... You know what I mean. Yes, However, he uh, the Hellbrute is popped. He's very dead. He has exploded. Yes. Yes. Well, the top performers, he's Hellbrute. Does he blow up? Uh, does he blow up? No. No. Okay. Well, up. you know, there, there's something. Goodbye, Hellbrute. Yes, goodbye. It's time for my second Predator, Mr. Beard. Predator DOS. Um, now, Predator DOS cannot see Fortune's DOS. Um, because this Predator could see you because he's just edged out here and I could get to the rear slash uh, ectoplasma cannon. Um, but he fired uh, this and the other one. And yeah, you know what happened. So anyway, <laughs> this Forge Fiend, uh, this Forge Fiend cannot be targeted, which is a shame because I might have been able to destroy him. So instead, I'm going to fire everything into your Terminators. Very good. Uh, I'll open with the heavy bolters. Okay, a bit of tracer fire, is it? Yeah, because you're reducing my damage by one anyway, and I'm hoping to kill. The one that's on one wound, so okay. we get four hits. Your minus one's a wound, so now fours, because I'm strength five normally. Yes. Just the one wound. One wound? So, yeah. Uh, two up safe. You need a, yep, you're fine. Lovely. Havoc launcher, let's see if we can. The old cheeky Havoc launcher. Oh, oh. cheeky now, one. I do get minimum three shots though, because you are six that or more true. models. The Havoc launcher is back in business. It's three hits <laughs> there. Oh, three hits, okay, okay. Mr. Beard, it's three two, wounds. Three wounds? Yeah, because it is strength five. My goodness. So even though you're minus one to wound. Nothing. Oh, he saves them. <laughs> right, the twin, <laughs> the twin Soul Shatter Laz, Laz Cannon. Two hits. Oh dear, okay. That two is a fail because it's it minus one. Oh no, is your minus one to wound because I'm strength nine? Oh, if it's at least double, so it would be, um, it would be a wound. Yeah, if it's, a, if it's equal or at least double, it's minus one. To wound. Does it say at least double? You know what? Let's check that. Let's double check. So it is minus one. It is. It so is it's only one. one wound that's through. Invulnerable save! Invulnerable save! Yay! So no. close. It's so far. No, you're five up. Invulnerable save. Yeah. Yep. Uh, D six plus two. One more's dead. No, it's a funny thing, guys. Actually, because this is hour of contempt, I'm minus three, so that goes down to minus two. So you would have a four up Do you save. Do a four up save. Hang on. So you make it. Slap my thigh. Yeah, we've done it right for everything else. Do not worry. Uh, yeah, but you're still alive. Well done, you. That's my predator fired. I've just got one unit of noise marines left. Um, the noise boys. Yes, they're not as nasty as the other one because I don't have the strat. Um, but let's see what we do. And now for the last noise marine units in the habitat block, firing into your terminator sphere. Tremendous. No special rules, nothing like that. I'm hitting you on threes. Okay. Oh, sixes explode because of the second. The second part of destruct of one. Yes. Um, the second course. So of one two time. explode. So I get two hits. Okay. All right. Um, cool. Do the blastmaster after this. Uh, you're minus one to wound. I am. That's not bad though. It's yeah. Hey, it's all right. You'll still get two up saves. So seven wounds. Seven. Yep. I just I... want to kill that guy on one wound. Never. You know. Oh no, he's dead. He's dead and another, another guy loses, loses a wound. wound. Fine. Quittling away um, here, quittling. We're quittling. Yes. Uh, you reduce damage by one. Yeah, baby. Um, I'll, do you know what? I'll fire on the varied frequency. Okay. Um, although, what, does that, what does that even mean? Well, basically I can do six shots, which potentially could explode. Yes. Or I could do three shots, which are normally damage three, but you're making damage two. Although I will have a better AP. Now, you know what? I'll, 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 I'll go the varied frequency. Okay. Because it's cool. Do I get any sixes? I get an exploding hit. So there we go. These two miss. And then to wound you, fours, two wounds. Uh, these will, you need three up saves. Three up saves. Kill you, you lose another wound. Another one dead. So one's. Oh, one wound? One wound. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it's not that's not damage too, because he's not within half range. Splendid. Uh, or actually, is he? Then otherwise it would. Was it 24 inches? Yeah, no, of course. Uh, well, no, it would be 18 inches. Sorry, guys, lots of new rules. Yes, he is. Okay, so yes, one is dead. He is oh, dead. Oh, but you reduce the damage by one. He's not dead. Sorry, guys. So many wounds. Emotional roller coaster. So, so, so many things to consider. 
<laughs> um, he's not dead. You, you've got him alive on my movie, mate. Sorry. Now we're in the charge phase. This is where I get to show something very cool. Honor the Prince, oh. Empress Children's Stratagem. That is one CP, leaving me on one. I'm now going to declare a charge uh, with the Warp Talons and Honor the Prince is going on them. One of my dice becomes a six. And Good that lasts grief. the rest of the phase. Okay. I'm then going to charge your Warp Talons. Okay. Uh, charge the Terminators. And I roll a four. Very nice. So that means I rolled a 10, which Very means in. they're in. How spicy. I'm now going to charge the Hellbrute just as a little rules mistake I've made. It hasn't actually made a big difference because um, I haven't been rolling that many sixes to wounds, generally speaking. But a six to wound with Empress Children in any phase uh, would be an additional AP. Mm. Okay, it would have made a couple of differences on the Terminators, but only like one or two. It doesn't matter. Uh, I'll remember now. So, what talents have made it in? The Hellbrute will now charge your Lord Disco. Yes. Um, Lord of the Disco. Five will probably not make it. It's a six you needed. It was a six. Okay, I could use a CP on that, um, but that would be boring. I'll try and save a CP for something else. Fair enough. I can't heroic intervene. No, into your you are out of phase. heroic uh, intervention range. Um, <sighs> let me think. Yeah, not going to reroll it. It's, Fair uh, enough. It's boring. I'm going to save CP to try and show you something else cool. Um, right. I've got 40 attacks That's and then another six attacks for the champ. Quite a lot. It's a lot, isn't it? I hit you on threes. Yes. Okay, don't have any other special rule. Even my hands are struggling to hold this many dice. Look at you right. Go. To hit. If we were in the third phase, um, or I had enough CP for the strat, sixes would then explode. Yes, wanton slaughter. Pretty but not cool. yet. No, not Soon. yet. Soon. But not yet. Um, Gladiator reference. Remember that? Anyway, uh, lots of hits. I'm now going to just add in my six attacks from the champ. Yes, please. I'll take those out as well. Cool. Now, uh, I'm plus one to wound, but you're minus one to wound. I'm yeah. plus one to wound because of the uh, counteract power. Slanesh so versus Nurgle. I'm now back to wounding you on fours. Yes, I'm not sure okay. what this is. But I'm re rolling wounds because that's what the Warp Talon Claws do. Okay. Which is very exciting. So fours, yes. followed by fours, yes. and sixes will be an additional AP. So I'm just going to take them out just in Plus case they get knocked over. And I'm going to re-roll these. Re-rolling. Re-rolling, re-rolling. Okay, so that's a load of hits. And then I'll take those out. Okay, so... Here's how it's going to be. Mm. You've got five, six, seven, eight, nine saves at effectively minus two. So there'll be four ups needed. Yep. So you've got nine of those. Yes. Nine four ups required after yes. Arm of Contempt and everything. Yes. And then you'll have... Why don't you do those first? Okay. I have my nine dice here. Nine dice. Fours. Fours. Oh, oh you've rolled very, very well. Well done, Beard. Um, so, so one's dead because you only dead, had one wound, and then wound. another wound lost. Good. And then you've got three, six, nine, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 saves of three up to make after Armor of Contempt. Okay. 17 saves of three up. Oh. That was a two. Uh, one, two, three, three four, four, five, five go through. So, um, so you've killed two kill another two. Yeah, okay. So I killed three in total. Hey, it's, that's pretty cool. But you still got some just... alive. You left. Right. I'm going to hit you back. Ouch. Now, if I had a command point available, I would have used cold hearted malignity because now I'm under half strength. They'd automatically pass them <clears> out and they're plus one to hit for the rest of the game. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. yeah I don't have any really command nice. points. <clears throat> I no. spent them. Anyway, I'm going to hit you with my accursed weapons. Yeah. Uh, which is fine. That's fine. And I'll be winning you on threes. Yep. Well, that's less good. Um, so two, four, seven wounds at minus two after Armour of Contempt. Okay. Uh, I do fail a lot. So you okay. actually kill... Two and a half. One, two... No, you kill three warp talents. Three dead. That's nice. Chop, chop, chop. Yeah. Whew. Yeah. Good turn, that. It was very nice. Yeah, I did did all right. Did all right. You still got some powerful units, though, and uh, a blitz coming in. Yeah. But you do need a cheeky little morale for the Terminators. Morale for the Terminators. They pass. They love it. They love life, life. As they should. Yeah. Um, okay. I don't need a morale because Warp Talons are now uh, leadership nine. You only killed three, so six plus three is nine. I can't very fail. Plus. 
Um, nothing else. Look, I've got Storm Hostile Objective because yeah. I do still have more models on that objective than you do and you're yeah. not obsec. Yeah. Um, I've got Battlefield Supremacy, so I do score 10 points. Grind, grind them down, I destroy two units, so I'm sure you might be able to deny that just depending on what happens. Perhaps. Um, yeah, that's my turn. Okay, let's see what I can do. Cool. My turn too. It is. Here we go. So uh, command phase wise, I have put the plus one to hit from my Wartsmith onto my Demon Prince. The uh, Master Possession just didn't want to himself because he's not going to want to do it to at the moment. So yep. that's fine. You mean um, your Forge Fiend, right? Not Demon Prince. Did I say Demon Prince? You did, yeah. <laughs> I was like, have I missed something? <laughs> Ways of the Warp. So that's that. Um, I've drawn Ray's Banner, which isn't great, but I've also scored Behind Enemy Lines, which is doable. I should yeah. mention that I scored um, No Retreat, No Surrender in my last turn. Forgot to mention that because I yep. didn't fail a morale. Yep. Um, and No Prisoners is ongoing. So I think I can get Behind Enemy Lines. Got Obliterators coming in. So. Yeah, you can do it. Let's get moving. Movement phase. Now, this would ordinarily be a very uh, straightforward maneuver, which is full back from an enemy. Ah, I'm a Warp Talon. So I've got uh, Warp Flames. You have to beat me in a die roll off Crazy. in order to actually fall back, which could be pretty savage. It's spooky Flames. My Spooky However, Flames, I roll a two. two. I roll a two, which means I don't beat you, oh. which means you can fall back, my oh, friend. Thank the good yeah, because I think I might have killed. Do you know I could might have maybe have killed them? Actually. Well, probably because you, your uh, plus one to wound is still in effect. Yeah, and, and I wouldn't have been you. able to. You would have fought first in this turn as well. Yeah, that's good for me. Yeah, right, that's good. Well, that's you know, back. well done you. So we're going to fall back with them. Uh, I know they're not going to be able to do anything this turn. However, they won't just get murdered. Um, and hopefully, if I can get enough firepower into them, I may yet take back that objective. The Disco Lord now moves forward. He is one of my keys for behind enemy lines and he will come over here and put great terror into these noisy boys. Forge Fiend next. Uh, I did forget to mention he's regained one of his wounds for being a demon engine. He's going to come behind this giant rock to avoid getting his soul shattered any more than it needs to. Um, this uh, accoutrement of uh, models will move over this way. Uh, the Space Marines and the characters will move on up. Whoops, hello. And uh, I'm actually going to uh, probably advance with my um, Master Possession, but I'll think about that in just a moment. Advance with the Master Possession. He zoomed over this way. He's flown um, over here, uh, just because I might have a chance to bring one of my Terminators back from the dead. My Marines are on the move. They are awkwardly moving through these trees, or I am awkwardly moving them through these trees. Oh, there he is. Uh, towards the enemy to get some line of sight on the sand bits. Moving forwards with the Chaos Space Marines over this way. Coltis is just going to move back over this way. Flame Hip says, oh, no, don't worry. The Warp Towns have gone somewhere else. They've only killed the Terminators. We're fine, lads. We're fine. <laughs> Stick with me. I'm playing it. And finally, the Obliterators are here. Noise boys against your noise boys. Which boys will have the most noise? I don't know. Psychic phase, the Mars Possession is going to kick things off again. Unsheathing the Sacrificial Dagger once more, only just finished wiping all the blood off. And he's going to stab another Chaos Space Screen in the spleen. Brutal. Another, well, one, one and a half are dead that time. Ouch. Potent, this dagger. Ouch. Um, but I do get plus two to cast, which I will do on uh, Pact of Flesh. Okay. Onto these Terminates. It does work on Core. And luckily, it does go off. Because it goes off on a five normally. <sighs> I'm gonna try and deny it. Okay. Because <laughs> I am in range with my Master of Possession. I do deny it. Um, so then we will try and do a smite into your warp talons. Four, five, six, seven. 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 I can't deny that, I've only got one deny. Oh, D3 go. mortal wounds. It's a big three, baby! Ouch. We'll kick off with uh, my legionnaires and they're gonna shoot into your warp talons. That's these, is it? Yes. Ouch. Yes, uh, just only two of them are in range. So I've got one bolter and a reaper chain cannon. Nice. So the bolter first. Tracer bolter is a hit. Tracer bolter. That's a wound, baby. Wound. Yes. That's a save. Okay, very good. Uh, and then we have the <clears throat> reaper chain cannon, the yep. chain cannon of reaping. Yes. Have moved, so uh, minus one, but it's still, still pretty good. It is. Yeah. Shamrock in want of destruction That's anymore. Nice. That. You know what I mean? No, oh, yeah, would have been exploding. Threes! Uh, three. three wounds, please. Minus one, but minus none. Minus one equals minus none, which means oh, I good. save. Okay. Tremendous. Nice. This squad are going to do the same thing. 
Right. Yes. Bolters, though, all in rapid fire range. Rapido. Uh, brilliant. That's gone swimmingly. Not even a six to counteract it. Can I wound you? One wound. Just the one. Speaking of sixes, that's what it was. Reaper chain cannon. Okay. Accurate again. I do like these Reaper chain cannons. Threes. Well, would you look at that? Ouch. That's six wounds. Ouch. Six wounds. Six wounds. Taking some heat. Yeah. We're taking some heat. Oh, you oh. are taking some heat. Oh. That's one dead. That's... Well, one was on a wound. Yes, exactly. So, one dead, two dead, one on one wound, basically. Cool. Two dead, Blimey. one on one wound. Ouch. Oh, bloody. Last squad of the yes. Marines. Yes. Same thing into yes. them. This makes sense. Two rapid fire bolters, because I killed one myself. Uh, an exploding hit. Good grief. Maybe his sacrifice wasn't in vain. Maybe not. Maybe. Maybe they've been enchanted. Uh, two wounds. Okay. Two wounds for you. Two wounds. A double one. My goodness. Maybe they Kills are Kills one. Enchanted. Another one's on one wound. Okay. And then we're going to do the last of my Reaper Chain Cannons. Here we go. Uh, uh, three hits. Can I wound you on threes? Yeah, twice. Yeah, twice. I that kills another one because one was on one wound. So that's two more dead. Ouch. Yeah. Warp Smith. Yes. He's going to try and pop your the last wound on your hellbrute with his plasma pistol. That's very cool. Yeah. Now there is literally <laughs> no point in overcharging now. Because I might kill myself, A, and also the damage too. He's only got one wound left. Exactly. There'd be no point. There would be no point. You can I do hit it anyway. You? Good thing I You're didn't dead. overcharge. Good thing I didn't overcharge. Um, okay, <laughs> that's him. Unbelievable. Um, I'll try and pop him with the bolt pistol from my Master of Possession. Oh, no. uh, he advanced, my he friend. He advanced, yes, yes, he can't. One way left. So annoying. Uh, you must have something else to shoot at him. Well, I do, but I wanted to kill him with a plasma pistol. That would have been cool. The Lord Discordant. It's down to him. He's going to magma cutter him. Yeah, this Hellbrute needs to be dead now, doesn't he? He should have been dead, like, before the game yeah. started. He should have. Magma Cutter. Okay. I, I thought it was going to be a one. I was just about to scream. I was going to say that. <laughs> Can I wound you? Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I want you to kill him. He's going to throw a crack grenade at him. Yeah. Because he himself has a... Oh, no, I do hit. It is a wound. Who's throwing a crack grenade? Him. He, he himself has a crack grenade. Can you throw a crack grenade and shoot? Yeah, because um, Hellstalker has the, the rest of the guns. So he's got a pulp pistol and crack grenades. He counts as a separate guy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, great. What's wrong with you? Uh, I don't know. I, th I think I've got a problem, you know. Why does he have one wound left? <laughs> <laughs> right. Fine. <laughs> okay. We'll do the, the bale flamer into your noise, boys. Uh, three... You don't want to do it into the helper? I've already declared it. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, three, four, uh, no, three, four, f five. Five, five, because of let so the galaxy burn. Yeah, look, yeah. I do wound you uh, five times. You do? Three, nice. four, five. Minus? Uh, minus two on a bell flamer. So, so minus, minus one. one. Yes. I make three saves, I fail two. Okay, so two are dead. Well, damage is two, right? And yeah. that's the unit I did get Delightful Agonies on. So oh, right. Oh, you've got I'll, your shrug, yeah. I've got my shrug. So the yes. first one, he ignores both. The second one, he ignores one. So you take one wound. I take one That's, wound. Hey, how delightful. Great. Good. Hey, yeah. delightful. Good. Agonizing for you. Yeah. Well, let's move swiftly on from there, shall we? Yeah. The Forge Fiend now is going to power up. Um, and he's going to... I didn't heal him again with my Warp Smith. Do it now, do it now. One again. So this is this is the, the punishment I get for forgetting every time. So over the course of two turns, he's returned two wounds to him. That's good. There is a, there is quite a good relic um, where you can just do the full three every turn. That's really good. Um, yes, maybe I'll do that next time. Um, so what we're going to do in that case is he is going to fire all of his guns into your noise marines because yep. they're blasts. I get all my nine shots. That's right. So that's yep. nice. Um, so I'll be hitting on threes again now because of the plus one. Yep. Um, do I want to, hmm, do I want to do Demon Forge? That's the question on everyone's lips. Demon Forge, do I want have to do Demon Forge? Let me have a quick think. I'm going to use Demon Forge. 
Okay. Because it will make me BS2, which will then degrade to BS3, and with the plus one from the warpsmith, that will make me hitting on twos. That That's sounds nice. horrible for me. Here we go! Yep, it's perfect. Very Other nice. than one. Um, and then we will be wounding you twos. on twos. Many T4, yep. Uh, no, threes, because it's strength seven. Um, oh, you're not strength eight on the ectoplasma? No, and I failed to wound you five times. That's good. Three wounds. I thought you were strength eight. No, the Hades auto cannon is um, strength eight. Three wounds? I do fail. Uh, what you, I fail three, actually. Yeah, because it'll be AP322. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so it's flat three. So you okay, get your, you get so your shruggy I'll, I'll do these three at a time. Yes. One's dead, because you only have one wound anyway. Yes. Uh, the other one's dead, and the last one is alive on one wound. So you kill two, one's on one wound. Obliterators. Yes. So there are... <sighs> Because they're behind enemy lines, they're a bit out of position um, and they've got a, just a lot to deal with. <laughs> yes. um, so I'm going to be quite greedy now. Um, I'm going to fire two of them into your wounded predator with okay. the, uh, the focus malice, the, the big shot. Cool, so doubling up on the damage one. Yeah. And then one, the other one's going to fire into the other predator. Okay. And at least I'm going to try and degrade it. Fair. Okay. okay. So we've got 2d3 into your wounded one. The wounded one. For the shots. It's three. Three. Uh, be hitting you yeah. on threes. I do hit you twice. Nice. I'll be wounding you on threes, because it's strength nine. No, only one wound. Okay. Minus, Minus three, so you get a uh, five up save. Do you have a CP? You don't. No. Well, I, uh, no, you don't. Yeah. No, I don't. I've spent it. I fail the save at okay. least. So it is degraded at least, because it's damage four. Yeah, so well now it's yeah down to four wounds. Yeah, probably should have fired all three of them into it, really. Uh, the other one gets... Two shots, I hit you twice, I wound you once. Do you want to say that it is into this one? Because we did say repeatedly beforehand, you'd probably fire into the single one. I mean... You'd fire into the damaged one. Let's say it's on the damaged one, because that's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I save it anyway, of course. I can't, I can't. <laughs> Charge phase then. Yes. So I've, I've, Kill me. I've decided that my, all my bad luck's gone now. Yes, I I'm agree. done with it. Yes, it's it's over now. So I'm going to charge Lord Discordant into your Noise Marines and your Hellbrute. Okay. <laughs> a four. That's that fine. will make it though. <laughs> Just about. Um, so he will uh, bundle in over here. Okay. And then my Obliterator is going to charge into your Noise Marines in yes. the pod up there. Yes. Hup! In the hab block. No. No, not quite. So. Okay. Uh, cool. Right. Fight phase next. Nice. Right. Right. Here we go. So what I'm going to do, just to be sure, because he has soaked up most of my army's uh, firepower <laughs> so far. I'm going to put three of my attacks into him Fair enough. Uh, with my chain glaive. Yes, please go. Um, which uh, I mentioned before, when it hits, it automatically wounds because it's the uh, Nurgle demon weapon. Nice. The rest of the attacks will go into your noise marines, including the Hellstalker ones. Okay. So let's see if I can kill your Hellbrute. Okay. Shall we? Okay. So I hit it's you three, uh, three times. Yeah. And the demon weapon, if you're all ones, you take mortal wounds. Oh, I want to do my leadership check. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's fine. He fine. passes. So you hit me three times. There are three wounds. Three wounds. Minus three. Minus three becomes minus two. <sighs> I do have a CP for a reroll. I'm not going to use it. Okay. Don't worry. Nice. Hey, I'm dead. Do I blow up? No, I don't. Hellbrute is destroyed. Finally. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh right. My goodness. So the rest of the attacks. Yes. Into your your noise boys. So okay. the impaler chain glaive. Uh, I hit you all the times. Yep. I wound you all the times. Minus three. Oh, I should also mention I've got my Hatred Incarnate Warlord trait, which means I can reroll my hits. Not needed to yet, though. Okay. Well, I fail one save. <laughs> Getting uh, a little bit bored of you damage. now. Damage. <laughs> uh, the damage on the Pale Chain Glaive is two. Okay. Do I ignore the wounds? This is becoming quite tedious. <laughs> <laughs> quite tedious. <laughs> yes. But I, I just take him out of the tray. Right, rest of the attacks. The uh, Hellstalker bladed limbs, I do hit you all the times. Can I wound you on threes? I wound you twice. Two wounds. Go then, make saves. Uh, it would be minus one with um, Armour Contempt, so one goes through, which is damage two, so one is dead. Delightful Agonies. <sighs> the Mecha Tendrils. Okay, I hit you all the times. I wish I was in Wanton Slaughter. I would have got way more hits. Um, no wounds with Mecha Tendrils. 
Really? What's the strength? Uh, four. Oh, wow. Okay. Is that it? Yeah. I'm going to hit you back now with my noise brains. Put me in my misery, please. <laughs> <laughs> I hit you on two because I have an icon of Slanesh in yeah. the units. Uh, sixes don't explode yet. Okay. And then normally I'd wound you on fives, but you're. Mark a nerd. So sixes to wound. Yeah. But sixes to wound will have an AP one. That's one, two, three, four wounds. Okay. At. Well, AP nothing because of armor of contempt. Okie dokie. Hit. What's his save? Has he got two up save? It used to be two up. Mm. I think find it out might together. Still, be, still be the case. Actually, it's I'm fine. pretty, I'm 99.9% .9 It is, so he yeah. saves all of them. That's there fine. we go, that's nice. So I don't actually hurt you back, at least. <laughs> um, right, cool. No other fights? No. Do you want me to go straight into the Should morale? Should we do morale? Yeah. Okay, so that noise marine unit can't fail because you killed three, and they did ship nine. Weird. But that warp talent unit can well, fail. There's only six left. Yes, six left, you killed three. Oh, okay. So oh, is it unit and nine? Okay. Unit and nine, yeah. yeah. Um, the warp talents pass their morale on a one. Warp That's three. when I roll a one. Good. Yeah. Um, so to summarize, I didn't yes. get behind enemy lines, I didn't get raised banner, and I'm two points away from no prisoners. Um, yeah, two, nearly I got no prisoners. am going to... I'm definitely going to get rid of raised banner because I just don't really have an opportunity to do that now. Oh, will I? No, I'll keep it because I might be able to do it. Um, I will get rid of behind enemy lines because I'm pretty sure those blitz rays might be dead in the next turn. Um, so, that's it. It's your turn right. now. Back My turn three. three. All right, let's see what happens. My turn three. Um, I did just pick up grind them down yes. because I did end up killing one more unit than you. Um, I'm on three objectives in this new command phase, so I do get the max for that because I'm holding more than you as mm -hmm. well. Very good. Um, so I am on a lot of points, but I've just drawn not so hot a draw. I've got Defend Stronghold, so that will be a guaranteed five, but behind enemy lines and deploy Teleport Homer, I literally cannot achieve this turn. Mm. So there's that. So opportunity to catch up. Potentially. Let's do some moving now. Okay. Noise Marines will fall back, or in this weird instance, fall forwards to try and uh, keep some models around that objective. They won't be shooting this turn. This Hell Brutes will now move forward. <laughs> this Rhino will <laughs> skid into action, blocking up the gap here. The Noise Marines have gotten out, and as has Lucius. And of course, he's going to move towards the characters. Uh, the character Warpsmith, the Legionnaires, and the Forge Fiend. These Noise Marines will just shuffle out and around the objective. These Noise Marines will walk down the gantries here so that they can see the Obliterators. Warp Talons will leap down here. This Predator will just shuffle a little bit like so. He can only go six inches now. This Predator will just shuffle around here like so. This Master of Possession now will move this way to look at these obliterators like so and then at the end of the movement phase he'll do his fatal solency so we'll do that next end of the movement phase yeah i can show the fatal solency relic so okay. master of possession sees those obliterators yes i now roll 66 and on fours you take a mortal wound ouch it is two mortal wounds. Just a two. Nice. Okay. Okay. Um, now we're going to go straight into the psychic phase. Do it. Uh, he's going to cast the smite. Okay. No, he's not. Or not. He's okay. not. <laughs> uh, then he's going to try and cast um, Pact of Flesh and will cast that on the Terminators again because you are still... Oh, actually, are you? So I did move slightly further away. No, you're not. So I can't do packs of flesh. Um, you mean um, uh, packs of flesh is to bring one back to life? One. Warp marked? Warp marked. Warp marked, yes, but I believe that's also 18 inches. Uh, it is, so I can't do that. Okay. So I'm going to do Delightful Agonies instead. Sure. Uh, and I'll do Delightful Agonies, uh, ignoring wounds on the Noise Marine unit uh, up in the habit hab pods. Oh, it's 11, so it goes off, but you may as well give it a. Why not? 
No. Okay, I get that off. So they've got delightful agonies up there this time. Very good. That's pretty cool. Splendid. I'm going to fire the Hellbrutes uh, okay. into that Forge Fiend now. Very good. Multi melters. Ma 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 multi melter. Multi melter. One hit. Okay. Ma 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 it's time to get loud now. Oh. I'm spending two CP, leaving me on one. Excruciating uh, frequencies on this unit. We're gonna fire all of the sonic weaponry, including the Doom Siren uh, into, um, actually, sorry, the Doom Siren's going into the Forge Fiends. The rest of the sonic weapons are going into the Chaos Marines. Uh, and the Blastmaster's also going into the Forge Fiend. Very good. Here we go. Sonic weaponry. We're rerolling ones because we are next to Lucius. Sixes explode, that of which we got one, two, three, four. So these twos actually become hits. Oh yeah, what one ton are you in? Two out. Uh, I'm going into the assault phase one. So you won't get the sixes? No, because assault weapons oh, still assault? activate. Yeah. Oh my yeah, goodness. Yeah, which is really, really cool. Um, okay, and that is the lots of hits. That's lots of hits. This many hits now to wound you is on fives because of Mark of Nurgle, but sixes will be a mortal wound in addition. Of excruciating agonies, uh, frequencies. Right, so three mortal wounds. Okay. And then that's three saves at minus one, effectively, after Armor of Contempt. Okay. And then you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven other saves in addition. Okay. So I do my. So three of them are at minus one? Three of them are at minus one. Okay, so you've killed. That kills two. Two. Um, and then there's another two seven. This range. And then there's another seven. Uh, which only failed one. Okay. So I kill three because um, they're damaged two at this range. Nice. Uh, then we're going to do the Doom Siren on your Forge Fiend. Doom! Two hits. That's a mortal wound uh, and a regular wound as well. So two wounds. Uh, these are at minus two. Minus two. Uh, Ouch, you lose three wounds in total. Ouchie. Um, and then the Blastmaster into the Forge Fiend. Okay. So he's already lost three wounds. Then he gets hit two more times. Then he gets wounded once. Okay. Damn save! Yay. Yay! Otherwise that would have been four damage. Yes, I know. I'm glad that he didn't kill me again. Me too. Now Lucius will target the forge feeds with his Doom Siren. Oh my. Lucius the Eternal, four hits. Mm. Lucius the Eternal. Uh, two wounds. Two wounds? Two wounds. Any minus? Yeah, it'd be count as minus two effectively for you. Minus two? Yep. Hey! Oh, he's come life. back! That's nice! Love life. The noise brings up in the hab block now. We're gonna fire all the sonic blasters into your obliterators and the doom siren into the oblitz. Yep. The blast master's going into your forge feet. Okay. The obliterators have filled their ears full of bullets. So. <laughs> First the sonic <laughs> blasters. Uh, no re-rolls here. Noise damage. And I only rolled one six, so that's only one exploding hit. So okay. I'll just put that back in. And these are misses. And then to wound you, they don't have Mark of Nurgle because they can't have it. They're demon kin. But your toughness five anyway. Yes. So fives. Sixes will be an additional AP. Okay. Um, I'll take these out. Okay, so you've got three regular saves of two up. Okay. And three saves of three up. Three three ups. So you uh, lose so one wound. wound. And then three two ups. Okay. You're fine. So you've lost one more wound after all of that. The one's got and then two the Doom left. Siren. Stop shooting me. Six hits. What's wrong with you? I can't help it. I've got to, I've got to kill you. Where's the two? I've got to kill you. Uh, and that's two more wounds. These will count as being minus two, however. Fours. Fours! Nope. Hey! Jakey. Okay, the Blastmaster. The Master of Blast. He hits you twice. Okay. This is on the old Forge Fiend. He wounds you twice. Your what's toughness. What's the strength of it? What's your toughness? Seven. Yes, it's strength eight. It's strength eight. On the heavy frequency, it's strength eight. And it's minus. Yeah, uh, count as minus two. Here. Damn it, save. No. Ah, no. uh, not this time. That will unfortunately kill him. He's mega dead. He's mega dead. The Forge Fiend finally falls. Does he blow up? No, he doesn't. He implodes. But he is dead. <laughs> oh. My healthy predator is now going to fire at your obliterators, sir. Okay. We're going to open with the heavy bolters. Yes. Dong, 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 dong. Grand opening. Uh, three hits. Strength five, toughness five. Oh, 
Right, these two you need three up saves because of the uh, Empress Children, and one you need a two up save. Okay. Two three ups. So one will be dead because damage two. A two up. Okay. Okay, yep, so I've killed one. an Blit there. I'll then open up with a little uh, Havoc launcher. <laughs> Good. Five shots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, three hits. Uh huh. Weapon of the match. It's two wounds. Two one wounds. is yeah, it's two wounds. You get two up saves. One's at minus one. Yeah, but armor of contempt. Oh, so. yeah. uh, he's fine. You're fine. And then the soul shatter cannons. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> two hits. That would only be one wound. Okay. Demon save. Demon save. Oh no. Nope. D six plus whatever. It's four Ooh, wounds. Lucky. So it'd be alive on one. One with... left. Nice. Lucky duck. The next predator will do the exact same thing. We can still just see them with the rear of the track there. So we'll open with, we'll open with a havoc launcher because one's got one wound. Yeah. Four. Okay. I'm hitting you on launcher. fours though now. Okay. <laughs> okay then. Three wounds. <laughs> he is fine. You're fine. Yes. Then the heavy bolter. <laughs> uh, two hits. There yes. One wound. Okay. Two up. He's fine. Cool. And then the soul shatter laser cannon. Ugh. The soul shatter laser cannon. It's One wound. another wound. Demon save! Him. Damn it! Another wound on him. No. Does go through. Well, He's that dead. would kill him. Another one. Regardless. Soul okay. shattered. Goodbye. Soul was shattered. Fair. The Rhino back there will fire its Havoc Launcher at these Legionnaires here. Very good. Uh, along with the Combi Vulture. Havoc Launcher, five shots. Uh, you're looking at two hits. You're looking at one wound there, Mr. Beard. One wound. One wound. Up. It's fine. Nope. And the Combi Vulture, can it get one? It's one hit. It's no wounds. Okay. okay. We're going to move on to this Rhino. Mm -hmm. This rhino uh, can only really see these marines, so that's what it's going to fire at. Okay. So we need to go D6 shots with the Havoc, that's five. To hit you, that's four. To wound you, that's three wounds. One, well it doesn't matter here, yeah, three wounds. Up! Definitely. You love it. And then the bolters, one hit, no wounds there, okay. okay. The Warp Talons are going to charge in the charge phase. Yes. They're going to charge that Master of Possession. Oh. So I see him there hanging out. Great boys. They make it. Okay. In they go. Mm. And now Lucius will charge the Warp Smith, Mortal Kombat, and those Legionnaires because they're right next to him. Oh my. In he goes. Very nice. And now, last but not least, the Hellbrute into the Lord Discordant. Yes. He makes it too. Yeah. Let us begin in the fight phase with the Warp Talons. Can they shred a Master of Possession? No. Let's find out. Stop killing my stuff. You must die. Right, sixes explode because we're in my, you know, thing. Wanton slaughter. That means that those two misses in fact hit. It's very nice. Our slaughter is wanton. Yes. Uh, your toughness four, so force the wound. Yes. But re-rolling. And with Empress Children. Right, two of these saves will be at minus two, effectively. Okay. And the others will be at minus one. So you've got to make three, four, five, six, seven saves at minus one. Okay. So seven four ups and two five ups. Seven four seven ups. Seven four ups on this Master of Possession. Can we slice, can we dice? Oh, that's um, five wounds in one go. It is five wounds. Um, the first, because he's Mark of Zinch, the first one becomes zero. Oh, that's So nice. he's taken four wounds. Okay. How many wounds does he have? Do we know? When five was, at least. Okay, then we've got two. Six. Well, you never used to. We've got two five-up saves to make. Two yeah. five-ups. So he's lost five wounds. Yes. Let's find out live. Does he have five or six? Well, because he used to have four. I hope he has five. That was the big joke. Six, he used, even. He used to have four. He might have five. Um, it's like an episode I, of Will It Blend. Will it, he used to... He's got five now, but five is still dead. He's dead now. Five is not alive. It's very sad for him. Right, this is going to be a bit of fun. <laughs> Lucius the Eternal. Well, he's actually going to do all of his attacks on the Warpsmith because actually because of Armour of Contempt, you'll only have 
minus two effectively, and you've got a two up armor save. Yeah. So Lucius is gonna fight the warp smith. Okay. Now, because you've got a weapon skill of three up, I get plus three attacks, giving me eight attacks. My warlord trait minuses an attack from you and means that I can reroll hits in combat as well. Okay. So, and I get an extra damage. So I'm now damaged three. The bladesman. The bladesman. I can reroll that miss because of my warlord trait. That's all of the hits. Very nice. Strength five, toughness is, oh, that's interesting. Um, so those fail, but the four sixes will actually effectively give me a minus three against you. So you need okay. four five up saves and one four up save. Four five ups. Four five ups. Oh, he's dead oh, now. Oh, he is riddled with the blade of Lucius the Eternal. Um, that combat was over very swiftly. Yes. Um, yes, that's that. Everyone's very surprised. Yes. <laughs> and now the hell brutes. Yes. Into the Lord Discordant. I've got five attacks. I've hit you three times. Oh, sorry. I've, uh, I'm using Infernal Engine. Yes, you Steady did mention off camera. It's minus one damage. Lovely. Okay, so three hits. Now, I didn't get any sixes there, I don't think. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, I do wound you three times. You do wound me three times. Um, so with my Gorge of Eternal Hate, I do have a four up and vulnerable save. Nice. I think you would be, you might, you might weirdly have a better save anyway. Well, you count as minus two, three, yeah, four up saves anyway. Yeah. Ah! I fail every single one. Ouch. Of course I do. But luckily, that minus one attack uh, damage has kept you alive. Yes. So I do six damage in total. Yes, okay. So you're so going to hit me back. I've got left. Um, I'll hit you back. Oh, yes. Right, I will hit you back. I don't get my extra attack because I've not charged you. Uh, but I can still re-roll my hits. So I'm hitting you on twos. Uh, re-roll the one. Yep, okay, so house. I did get my seven because we're in one. You in the... You, yeah, great. So you get seven. Yeah. yeah. That's what um, I'm so that's seven wounds. Yeah. Because it's... Um, yeah, because you got demon your demon weapon. Oh, I didn't do my leadership check again. Hang on. Yeah, he's fine. Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> seven wounds. This is at minus two with... Um, Armour of Contempt. Contempt. Yes. Cool. Yeah, I make three. Okay. I fail so four. So you've taken four wounds. Okay. So you've got four Are you normally left? damaged too? Yeah. Yeah, right, so I've got four left, yeah. Yep. Uh, so then I've got my um, bladed limbs. Yep. Reroll one. Okay, and then another one for wanton slaughter. Okay. This will be wounding you on... You're toughness seven, aren't you? Yes. Fives. Uh, no wounds. Oh. And then my mecha tendrils. Uh, Reroll that. Uh, so I get... Six hits with that because of wanton slaughter. Yes. Fives and sixes, not a one. Oh, so still alive. They're still dueling each other. Yes. But you're, you will... Oh, because I've got fight first. Yes. So I would hit you first next combat. Yeah. It is your turn next, so you could fall back. Okay. Uh, the Legionnaires will come up next, I guess. Yes. The Legionnaires. Yes. Against Lucius the Eternal. They all think themselves keen bladesmen. Yep. Um, extra hit for wanton slaughter. Yep. Uh, what's they his had a minus one attack, by the way, guys. Uh, his toughness is just four. Tough is four? Yeah. Uh, four, three wounds. Okay. Lucius the Eternal. Three wounds for you. Three wounds, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's just toughness four. Uh, one wound would go through. Okay. Very nice. Cool. Well, uh, that's the end of my turn, Beans. Yes. Um, morale phase wise, I uh, don't think you've got anything that can fail, so that's all good. I didn't, I've got Defend Stronghold, which is currently in play, but it's not scored until the end of your turn. Yeah. Behind enemy lines, I didn't get, obviously, and Deploy Teleport Home, I also didn't get. I'm going to discard both of them. Okay. Uh, so I didn't score any secondary points that turn. That's my turn. It's your turn three next. Come on, Faze. Yes. So, uh, the only thing I need to do is my Corrupt Machine Spirit. Yeah. So uh, what I can do to your Hellbrew, because it's within nine inches, um, I roll 8d6, uh, you have eight wounds, I and he sixes yeah. are mortal yeah. wounds. If you so if kill could, him, you can move. If I could get four mortal wounds, that would be, be very, massive. very Come nice. on. Come. Well, I in fact uh. get one, so oh. that's good. Uh, I do do a mortal wound. What I was hoping to do, well, I was hoping to kill him in combat, because if I could have killed him, I could have moved over to do with your predators. Yes. That would have denied you getting to die stronghold, because I could maybe have popped the other one with the uh, other obliterator. Yeah. And I would have had a chance to um, deny you some points, but as it stands, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> um, points, wise, uh, cards wise, I drew overwhelming firepower. So um, a tricky one, but it is possible. Potentially possible, yeah. Legionnaires, first of all, will move up. 
try and deal with some of these noise marines. Terminators are going to move up around this way just to get some options for some charges. These marines are going to fall back away from Lucius because they do not want to be killed, which is understandable. And finally, these legionnaires are going to move up this way and try and put a stop to these noisy boys. And finally, this obliterator is going to go over this way and try and deal with some noise marines. Right, we'll start off the shooting phase with Lord Discordant. Nice. Try and get you with my magma cutter. Please do. Magma cutter. Oh yes. Hit. Right on the uh, schnoz. Uh, oh, it is assault. So that would be two. That's two hits then. My goodness. Yeah. Uh, stri Can you just check the strength of the magma yeah. cutter for me? Magma cutter eight. is... Strength eight. Yes. Yeah. So two wounds. Two wounds. Okay. These are at minus four, so down to minus three. Yep, both go through. Yay! Um, I'm just going to roll the damage because yeah, it would make me be feel better. be satisfying, yeah. He's dead. What was that, D6 plus? It's uh, D6 plus two for okay. each one. That makes me feel really good. <laughs> he is so dead. Uh, he doesn't blow up, okay. but yeah, well done, that Hellbrute is Marvellous. Well. Obliterator now, the lone obliterator. Focus yes. Malice into your healthy predator. I can't see the other one. Nope. Uh, two shots. Two hits. Uh, fours to wound, because you're toughness eight now. Okay, good. <laughs> oh. Terminator's next. Yes. We're going to fire three combi bolters into your warp talons, and Spite Spitter will be shot into Lucius. Oh, that's cool. Yes. Um, so, we'll do the combi bolters first. Okay. And then, we'll be winning you on fours. That is four wounds, please. Yes, on the warp talons. Yes, sir. They do make four saves. Okay. Yeah. And then we've got Spike Spitter. Spike Spitter. Spike Spitter. Oh, I think two. twice. Yeah, so three to wound. Okay. One wound. <laughs> Just the one. Minus three. Okay, I've got a four up in Von. I do make oh, it. Good. Okay. Good for you. Uh, my These Legionnaires are going to fire all their guns into your warp talons because okay. they refuse to die. Yes. Um, so rapid fire bolters. And then fours. Three wounds, please. Okay, three wounds. Uh, no AP, so yes, three saves. Okay. Reaper Chain Cannon. Okay, I have moved, but not bad. Um, three's to wound this time, because it's strength five. Lovely, Ouch. so that's five wounds. Five wounds. I fail one, so one wound has gone through. Okay. Um, that is everything to shoot over there, I think. Yes. Next Legion S squad, I'm actually going to fire into your warp towns again because uh, I've got a chance of killing them, but not so much with that big blob over there. Okay. Reaper chain cannon. Okay. And then uh, that's a lot of misses. And then threes, two wounds. Two wounds on the warp talons. I do make both of those. Goodness. <laughs> the bolters. Three hits. hits. One wound. Okay. I do make that. Irritatingly, they're still alive. Charge face. Yes. Uh, my Terminator is going to charge Lucius. Oh, that's spicy. <laughs> that's cool. Because it's fun. Oh, yes. they make it. Oh, yes. oh that's epic. Okay. Die, Lucius. He must die. I'll take your sword and you can eat it. <laughs> uh, next up, Disco Lord will charge into your noise marines. Okay. Yes. And then these uh, Legionnaires will charge into them as well. Nice. Uh, on a six, I think that will do it. Yeah, I think so. Yes. Yeah, perfect. Uh, yes. I'm now gonna, <laughs> I'm now gonna charge your noise marines, my obliterators, and all I'm just gonna picture is the end of 300. He <laughs> just gets nailed by all the arrows. Yeah, I, I, I turn it up to 11. Yeah. And I am gonna use my CP, last CP to Overwatch. Okay. Because I can't have an obliterator in my lines here, stopping them. Yeah. This is the sonic weapon. <laughs> Imagine Leonidas is an obliterator. <laughs> uh, Okay. <laughs> Death by stereo. Yeah. Right, here we go. Sixes. Completely consume the hot gates with his uh, bulk. Now, each six, <laughs> each six will explode into four more hits. That's nice for you. <laughs> <laughs> some, uh, some interesting colourful language uh, off camera here. Uh, Excuse me, I've been few. very polite. <laughs> and, uh, and was, uh, this, is a bit, this is the sonic weapons yes. to wound you. Oh. Oh, look, you've wounded me lots. <laughs> That's, That's interesting. Uh, so these three, Mr. Beard, yeah. would, you'd have three up saves, yeah. and the other three, you'd have two up saves. So three, three up saves. 
Okay, you take Lost two damage. Wing. And then two? And then, and then three. three two up saves. Why have I rolled you four You lose dice? another. We oh, just roll then three do it again. again. Just roll three again, yeah. You do lose another two damage. So you've got one wound remaining. They're two damage! Yes, because you are within 12 inches of me. Do and I now I, the... I get it. I did a doom siren. Don't kill him. Four hit. <laughs> Four hit. Four hit. Oh. Well. <laughs> Unfortunately, that will be uh, effectively a minus three. That is unfortunate. So do you want to do that one first? Yeah. What's the minus? Minus three. That would effectively be, you need a five up or he's dead. He's dead. Good. He died to Overwatch. Death by stereo. Brilliant. It's the beginning of the fight phase, Mr. Beard. Um, obviously, Lucius does his whoop, 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 makes your Terminator's fight last. Why'd you kill my obliterator? Why? What's wrong with you? Because it's death by stereo. <laughs> I said his ears were full of bullets. I'm going <laughs> to go with my Lord Discordance. <laughs> he needs those noise cancelling headphones. He does. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I have my extra attack now yeah. because of my Warlord trait. Yeah. Uh, I'm rerolling my ones yep. because of his warlord trait. Yep. I still roll a one, but I do get an explodey, so that's, so that, that's, yeah, that's um, nice. seven wounds yes. because it's my demon weapon. Your weapons. demon weapon, right. So four, five, six, seven. Minus three goes to minus two. Minus two, so fives. There we go, finally I failed all the out? saves. The noise marines are wiped out single-handedly by Lord Discordant. Lad. That is pretty cool. <laughs> It's now time for the master duelist himself. Yeah. Lucius, the Eternal. Five attacks, because you're up in skill three, etc., cetera, et cetera. Lots of hits, one exploding hit. Oh. Lots of hits. Okay. Okay, now. Force the wounds, because you're minus one to wound. I'm using strength five. Oh! Lucius has gotten four wounds. Okay, one for each of them. One for each of them. One of these will effectively be minus three. The other three are minus two. So okay. you've got three saves of four up. So three four ups. Brilliant. What's damage? Three. That was three. Okay. Kiss your weapon skill three. And the other one? Damage minus two. what? Minus. Okay, good. Well, that, that sums up. That sums up my game, doesn't it? So... <laughs> I... <laughs> I've been violated. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, narratively, it's kind of what you'd expect from Lucius, and that was actually pretty cool. Yeah. But from a game point of view, Oof. that really sucked. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I was thinking maybe you'd kill Lucius there. Yeah. But well, I, don't, wow. I don't tend to often want to blame the dice rolling. No, you... Because I feel like I've, over time I've petered out. When I first started, yeah. I was not very good at rolling dice. Now I'm about average. That example of dice rolling. Dude, was, I only was wounded you four times. I only wounded you four times. You didn't make a single save on any of those terminators. That's yeah. my because kind of rolling. Yeah. <laughs> Considering they were minus one to wound and they're terminators. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think, uh, I, yes, I'm happy. Well, let, let's summarize. I got no points. Well, oh, you, no, I got you, no prisoners. You got no prisoners. Um, you picked that up I got when no you killed prisoners. the Hellbrute. So yeah, that, so that's yeah, good. That puts you on something in the region of 25 points, I think. 20 points, 25 points, something yes. like that. Yes. Um, but um, I'm now happy to dig a trench uh, and run away. You so. wish to concede? Yes, please. Well, I suppose I can understand that. The problem is my turn four now, I've still got these primaries. Um, yes. Well, I don't have that one anymore, to be fair. But I do still have that one. And I've yeah. got this one and I've got that one. So I would get 15 points again. And that would put me on 65 before I draw any cards. Oh, and I just picked up five for just, that would put me on 70. Well done, you. So, yeah, I don't think you can catch up now. Yeah, neither <laughs> do I. But that was a lot of fun. Thank you. That was a lot of fun. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, it Those was a lot Empress of fun. The Empress children. The Empress children are really cool. Yeah, my goodness. I mean, Dude, cool, they're a lot better than they were. I, I'm very excited about my how I ignore cover thing, but you ignore one of the most important aspects of cover, which is dense. Which is, yeah, which just makes modifies. Which a huge difference. It does make a big difference. Yeah. I think Empress children are actually one of the stronger legions in the book. I don't think they're necessarily, I don't think they're broken or anything like you've got to bear in mind the noise marine units are nearly 300 points yeah um, the, the, the chaos book is actually quite balanced yeah i think yeah um and 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 some of the interesting things i've discovered so i think on paper you look at obliterators you think yeah. 90 points is very cheap for what they do um they so far have performed okay yeah um but 
that's a lesson why you'd never you never deep strike obliterators. Yeah, I think if we'd started them on the board, perhaps that might have ended up better. Yeah, with the that last position. The last two games I did, um, and they did all right actually in the yeah. last two games because you can buff them up with the. Um, Master Possession to bring some back. Yeah. He can do, you can put a Warlord trait Demon Kin on to make them hit on twos. Yeah. When you put them back line like that, and I did that because I wanted to try and get behind enemy lines for the points. Uh, but as soon as they've done their shots, um, it, it, it's difficult to, to keep them alive after yeah, that. Yeah, unless point. you put them next to a Master of Possession who maybe has got cast Cursed Earth or something. Yeah, you give them before a vulnerable save. Yeah, you yeah, kind of need to have them, them protected in a bubble, don't yeah. you? So I've learned my lesson there. Yeah. The Predators at Toughness 8. Yeah, that's, you know that's 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 a spicy meatball. Look, I mean, I took I wanted to take like kind of like a couple of everything mm. that I had to show you guys at home, uh, and the predators I took because I thought, oh, soul shattered cannons would be cool. But I have to say, I was really quite impressed with them. Yeah, I do though think I was a bit lucky, and you were you were failing most of your saves. Which... I failed my this section <laughs> of my life. Yeah, yeah, which was unfortunate. This, 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 they did better to shine more than perhaps they normally would. But I mean, I, they are a good heavy support choice. The, the, the potential of them is very good. Uh, yeah. Multi melt is winning them on fours now, yeah. which is yeah. pretty tasty. Yeah, um, the, yeah the, the plus two damage really does make that uh, the, the the points cost way more worth it. Does. It, I think. And if you want to be super efficient, you can even take them without the heavy bolters. You yeah. just take them with the twin. Soul Shatter, which is it's also quite it's a good nice. Little gun platform. Uh, the Noise Marines, I think the only thing which might make them slightly maybe overpowered, I'm undecided, I'd love to hear what you guys think, is when they get that extra damage at half range, that's really spicy. Like I'm I'm almost surprised that that wasn't just built into the, a stratagem. Mm. Um, but the fact that they've, I mean, to be fair, you've got to be within 12 inches. You, sh you can easily play around it. They are expensive. Yeah. It's probably not that bad. It I think felt, they're okay. It felt hardcore in this game at points. Yeah, you, you, were, you were rolling hot. Yeah. Um, and I, also, I think because you got the power off to give them the shrug, they stuck around for quite a long yeah, time. Yeah, that delightful agony is, is, that's where on a big blob it is quite nasty. Because they're two wounds. Chaos space wounds are two wounds. Yeah. It's amazing. I like the, I don't know why we're summarizing this so much, but it's quite fun. Yeah. The, the Lord Discordant is a really interesting yeah. character now. Because he can't be targeted. Yes. And because you can, because he's Chaos Undivided, yeah. and you can give him Warlord traits multiple relics if you wanted to yeah. he's actually a really interesting sort of creator character sort of thing he is uh because that example of just the when you hit you wound combined with the re-rolling one uh, your failed hits yeah he's nasty in combat I, I was getting six to seven wounds every time he's nasty um, granted there was a lot of minus one damage here and there and whatnot yeah. and armor of contempt is definitely a thing yeah, um, yeah definitely. but i think yeah as, as a as a nice uh, relatively tough fast buffing yeah. uh, unit he's pretty good it also feels very iron warriors-esque which yes is especially extra. when he's walking he's riding around a giant crab machine well i think i think look maybe predators maybe a land raiders in your future i'm gonna get a land raider i think as well i'm gonna get some venom crawlers they weren't in this game but venom crawlers um as a being a fast attack now is a really nice demon engine option yeah. um there are definitely some limitations with my current army because i've got so many heavy support units yeah. i can only really fit in three i could take a spearhead yeah but now with the cp change i yeah, start even... i start with three command points before i even spent anything on warlord traits. yeah i mean no cps as well i'm still it... gonna do it yeah of next course. game um <laughs> but and take no warlord traits or relics uh just to give the toys a spin but um yeah i think um this was this was a good example of chaos space marines being chaos space being marines. awesome yeah and you know next time you'll bring up i'm sure a more oppressive Iron Warriors list and uh, the Emperor's children will find out that they're not so perfect after all. Remains to be seen. Thank you all for being here with us today. Thank you for supporting us on Freeview. If you haven't already, um, join us on On Demand because Chaos Week is now fully available. All the painting tutorials, the extra battle report, um, the extra codex videos as well. Um, you've got Chef's ca uh, ca uh, Codex Guide on there as well, which is completely free, which you can get without even signing up. You should sign up anyway because it, uh, it helps us um, to, to survive and create all this content and bring more and more and more etc so exactly. yes so until next time i've been spider our loyal servo skull has been the bard Beep boop. he's been chaos lord beard chaos is eternal goodbye for now bye
Tell me. I've decided that my, all my bad luck's gone now. Yes, I I'm agree. I'm done with it. Yes, it's, it's over now. Okay. This is becoming quite tedious. <laughs> no wounds with Mecha Tendrils. Really? What's the strength? Stop killing my stuff! You He's dead now. Five is not alive. It's very sad for him. I fail every single one. Ouch. Of course I do. Okay. Good for you. Uh, that's a lot of misses. Oh, look! <laughs> You've wounded me lots! <laughs> Good. Die to Overwatch. Put me in my misery, please. I've been violated. <laughs> I 